welcome back to my kitchen where everything is scratch made and home preserved. If you're new here, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. I'm Jenny and this is Christmas in July. This is the last installment of Christmas in July. Um, I did want to do a craft for this one. As many of you are homesteaders, crafting and sewing are good homesteading skills to have. I have heard from a lot of people they don't sew, but it is a homesteading skill. This one, no sewing needed, it's just crafting. So I have been heating up my hot glue gun. This is a non-stick mat specifically for hot glue and other glues so that they won't stick to your countertop. So it's a good thing to have. I have saved my lids. This one is from chicken breast that I canned. This one was canned carrots. We are going to make ornaments out of these. You'll need a fabric. I'm going to use this one. I actually had this cut out for something else. I think jar lids to go over jars for Christmas gift ideas. But we're going to use it for an ornament today. You can pick out whatever you like. I have a couple. We're using up old lids instead of throwing them away. Some of you say you don't throw them away anyway, you save them and reuse them. You can't reuse these for canning. It is not safe. I don't care what you say, you can argue all you want. I disagree highly. I'm going to put some hot glue on my lid here. And then I'm just going to put it in the middle. Ooh, be careful, that's hot. At this point you can bring this in if you want. I think I'm going to go ahead and just cut it off. When it's hanging on your tree nobody's going to look at the back of your ornament but you could fold it all in and then cut a round piece of a different kind of fabric and hot glue that on top if you'd like. Make sure it glues down well. You may have to, while that's still open, I'm going to go ahead and cut a piece of ribbon as a holder. So just plain ribbon, maybe about six inches. You're just going to make a loop and stick that right in there. I probably need more glue stick. You, if you don't have hot glue, you can use like E6000. Whatever you have, that's my point. Reuse things that you have. Holidays don't have to be expensive. Hey, you can leave it as such, or I have tons of little things like this from craft projects. Um, I have grandchildren that I buy these things for, so I have them on hand. Literally, I have bags of these things. My granddaughter at this point is wasting them. I find them all over the floor. I'm going to hot glue this. She did have some foam ones, too. I was looking for those. I think those might be gone by now. We've had them for years. But they're little green foam trees about the same size came in a Christmas craft project okay so now we have a cute little Christmas tree you can decorate this with marker you can hot you can paint it before you hot glue it on if you want to paint it green and then you can hot glue buttons and ribbons um, pom-poms if you want but then you have homemade ornaments reusing your lids. And again, you can fold your fabric to the back of this around it if you want to. Um, if you want to, t to put, a, put it in a lid, you can. But you can save your rusty old lids for the same exact thing. Crafting. I never throw my, my um, sorry, not lids, my rings. I never throw my rings away. I use these more than I use these. You, you know what else is super cute? Burlap. If you put burlap behind here and then just put the plain wood and then don't decorate it, or you know, just one tiny detail, that's super cute. 
So anyway, that is one idea. Now I did these a couple years ago, and these are from Rusty. If you can see this, this lid is, or this ring is super rusty. Had it for a while. Once they start getting rusty, it's hard to put on your jar and take back off. Plus you run the risk of exposing your food to rust. Okay, so these, this is a large ring, this is a small ring. Same size, I have them in this position. And then all you do is take strips of fabric and tie it in knots right around here. So there's my little strips of fabric, Christmas fabric. I just tied them in knots. And then I hot glued a tiny ribbon there and then some buttons. I just think these turn out so cute. I absolutely love them. They are my favorite project for these. And then, and this one I made with fabric. This one is all ribbon. So all Christmas ribbon. I did green and red. And again, just small sections. So they're probably, for the big one, I think I did probably four or five inch ribbon sections. This one might be three. And then I just put a twine on here. You could do the same thing with burlap. You could do strips of burlap and tie them around to keep them more natural if you like. Um, these are super fun. But you can also, and I don't have any, I looked everywhere, take twine such as this, completely wrap this in twine, and then hot glue the ends. And then you can put a twine hanger on it. And if you wanted to embellish it with some little red buttons, you could do that, but it makes kind of more like a, a wreath of twine. Or you can make wreaths with ribbon. I don't know how much of this I'm going to need. But I'm going to put a little spot of hot glue right there. my end in and then you just keep wrapping and as you're wrapping of course you're just moving over slightly each time And this, this one is a light green, so depending on your decor, you know, some people like to do more natural stuff, some people like the lighter greens and pinks, some people like the dark jewel tones, I'm more of a dark jewel tone kind of person when I'm decorating, and I like retro stuff. Okay, so that is the end of that one. So I am going to put some hot glue. Unfortunately, this is a high temp hot glue gun, so... That is hot. I have burnt myself several times with it. Okay, you just finish it out and make sure you don't have any spaces. Zip those up if you do. Oh, of course I had to burn myself. And then you can do little buttons. I love the little red buttons on there. And ribbon. So embellish it how you want. I just think it's such a fun idea. I know you know, to 
reuse things. And this, this is a fun thing to do with kids. So then we've got our ribbon wrapped. Again, you can use any kind of ribbon. If you want to do red wreaths, you can do red, deep green. Put some buttons on, hot glue some buttons, ribbons, um, whatever you have extra things laying around. You know what also works great for this kind of stuff is scrapbooks things. I have a lot of scrapbooking things that I will hot glue on. Um, you know, such as tiny ribbons or, or whatever you find or whatever you have. So don't waste your, your old hoods and rings. Reuse them. Super fun things you can do. I hope you enjoyed this Christmas in July. And come back next year for more Christmas in July. Anyway, friends, I hope you enjoyed the video as well. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet and you like videos like these, please consider subscribing. You can find me on Instagram at JennyGoff18. I'm also on Facebook, and you can visit my blog for all of my recipes. Of course, the craft stuff isn't down here, but thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.